And close your eyes and watch your breath. And close your eyes so we don't get distracted. You can give full attention to the breath. What does it feel like when you're breathing? When you breathe in, which parts of the body move? And how does that movement feel? How does that flow of energy feel? If it feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change the way you breathe. You can think of the energy flowing into different parts of the body. You can get make <clears throat> think of the breath getting longer or shorter, or heavier or lighter, faster, slower, deeper, more shallow. Try to get in touch with this aspect of your awareness. It's something we tend to overlook, but when you think about it, the, the breath is the energy that keeps the body and the mind together. And it stands to reason that if the energy is in good shape, then it's going to be good for the body and good for the mind. Good for the body in the sense that the blood, blood flows naturally through the body, all the organs are better nourished. And good for the mind, and, and it gives it a place to settle down. Because the mind spends a lot of its time just jumping around. It's like a person with bare feet walking on a hot asphalt road. You jump here, whoop, that's not good, and you, that's hot, so you jump just to get away, and you find yourself jumping on something that's just as hot. There's no way you're going to get any rest. It's the same with the mind. It jumps on the past, and what the past is slipping away. It jumps on the future. The future is uncertain. It jumps about this, that, and the other thing around in the present moment. Where is it going to get any strength if it can't rest? So we give it a place to rest here with a breath. Let's try to smooth things out in terms of the breath energy in the body. You find it really does make a difference. The mind's ability to settle down and its ability to gain a sense of well-being right here. When you've got that sense of well-being, then you're coming from a place of strength. When there are things you have to do or say or think, you're coming from a much better place, and you're much more likely to do those things skillfully. So not only do you benefit from the meditation, the people around you benefit as well. There's less of your own greed, aversion, and delusion coming out in your thoughts, words, and deeds. So they benefit too. So this is a good basic practice here. The breath is the beginning of all action in terms of the body. It comes out of the mind, of course, but the action through the body has to come through the breath. So make sure that you know this medium through which the mind gets makes contact with the body. Smooth it out, and you'll find that both sides benefit. Both you and the mind and the body, and you and people around you, all sides benefit. It's a simple exercise, but if you do it well, and if you build on it properly, okay, you find that you can build a, a life that's really worth living, a life that you shaped well. <laughs>